welcome back to the channel so today's topic is quite an interesting one it's called rat in a maze so basically you're given a two-dimensional matrix consisting of zeros and ones and you're supposed to find the path from the source to the destination which uh, consists of only ones and if you don't find a connecting path from the source to destination of ones then you return there are no path for this existing maze so consider this matrix here or this matrix so here one is represented by the white block and zeros are represented by the black block so you have to find a path from source to the destination which consists of ones so how can we do this so if you look at this image this green line represents a path from the source to destination and our algorithm is supposed to do this job for you so we can do this using backtracking and recursion so let's get started so here I have a maze and we'll have to find a path from the source which is here to the destination which is here for that we will need the length of the matrix which is equal in my case it, it can also be in equals so here I'll have to create a function called find path which accepts my two-dimensional array along with its length and we need another two-dimensional array to represent the solution right to which represents the path by one and rest all of the places are set to zero something like this see here the path consists of ones and rest all of the path places are set to zero this was our question and this was the solution so for that we'll have to create an empty two-dimensional matrix which is initially set to zero so that's pretty easy now let me create another function which returns either true or false let's call it find path detail which accepts our main array and our empty solution array and it will take the row number and the column number so let's call it right here so find path util this is going to be solution row number is initially zero and column is initially zero so first thing is we have to see if the path we're going to is a safe one or not in other words if this particular block is one or zero we only visit the path only if it's one and this rat is only supposed to move in either downward direction or towards the right either downward or right starting from the source so we move according to the condition that the particular block is one and it should be either towards the down or towards the right so we have to create another function which tells if the particular block is safe or not so as you guessed this will also return a boolean data type value and we say is safe which accepts our array our row number and the column number so I'll write only single return statement here the first thing is the row should be within our two-dimensional matrix obviously our column also should be within our two-dimensional matrix and they should be greater than or equal to zero it cannot be negative similarly the row follows the same rule and the important rule is that the place of this row and column in this array should be equal to one so according to this statement if any of these conditions fail this one will return false in which case we won't be entering that block the first thing is we check if it's safe the array and the row number initially set to zero here 
as you can see here and which is being passed on to this function and initially it will be passed here and only if it is safe we set that particular position in our solution array to be 1 and then once you're in here you have to move either towards your down or towards right so we move according to the plan by checking if it is safe or not so we put a check here we put a recursive call back to our function and we move down by incrementing the row size so how does this work this is row number zero this is one and this is two this and this is three so we move down by incrementing the row number like one and if this is true return true if that's not the case we'll have to move towards the right in which case the column should be incremented and if this is true we return true so what if both of this condition fail let's see let's say let's take for instance this particular block let's say you're here and let's say this is blocked and this is blocked this is one but this is zero and this is zero just assume you have to go back to the block from where you came from and you'll have to find a path towards the right that's called backtracking and we'll exactly do that we'll set that particular position back to zero and we return a false value in which case this will fail and this will execute for the function which call this function I'll explain this to you when we debug the code so if it is safe we enter and if it's not safe we return false so what should be the base case the base case is when we reach the destination that's the base case that's when our algorithm must come to an end so we check it so if row is equal to array dot length minus one and column is equal to array dot length minus one and most importantly if that particular position if the destination is equal to one we lastly set our solution array of that particular position to one and it return true okay so this returns true or false here and if it is returning true we have to print our solution array right and if it's not we say no solution so to print let me create a function static void print array which takes in an array as an input to print and we use for loops Here we put a simple sysout statement i j and we give it a gap in between and then we jump to the next line when the particular row is printed and we call that in here we're printing the solution array so let's call this particular function here find path maze so if I run this program we have a solution here so this was the question and this is the solution in which the maze is cracked here